How's it going guys? Sinistalker here for another video. This video right here will just be just a little, little day in the life video of me just like hanging out and chilling with me. So good morning because right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. As you can see right here, it is about 10 a.m. I got up about a, um, like half hour ago. I made some coffee, which I'm drinking. I'm like, where's it at? It is over there. Like a dumb, I'm like, where's it at? It's over there, duh. But yeah, so I'm just like, boop. But yeah, so I get the coffee going. That's what I do every morning. And uh, just kind of just do some, do some things like that. I gotta have the nice cream and sugar up in there. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. And also watching some Sports Center stuff. Well, some, some Colin Cowherd for the Super Bowl come up. Tom Brady, Tom, go with Tom Brady. I'm a Pats fan. But you know, also like the Chargers before. But I'm mostly a Pats fan. So I'm going for the goat, the goat. Brady, let's get number seven. Let's get number seven this weekend. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, real quick, before I forget, I got something I got to show you guys that I picked up at Super 7 here in San Diego. Really, really cool. That is this. Check this out, dude. The My Pet Monster. I guess I think this was like 25 bucks. This is when I went there Super 7, like, I think a week ago in a video. Like, real quickly, I was looking for this. And I didn't. I, it came out the next, the following day. But look at it. See, it's like it's flocked. It has, uh, it's furry. It looks just like the My Pet Monster coming out of the TV. Dude, how rad looking is this, dude. That's so cool. Love it. Dude, so rad. And I'm actually, you know what's cool? Like, I'm not going to tell you guys right now, but I got something, I, I something coming in the mail that's related to this. that will make this complete. Make it complete. I'll show you guys in a future video. It should come here in a few days. But how rad looking is that though, dude? That looks so, so awesome. I love it. A little bit later on, I'm about to go to Marshall's. I'm gonna return some bathroom rugs for the bathrooms. I'm getting some new, I'm gonna get some new rugs here because these are kind of like old. So I wanna figure out how to get these ones. But the thing is, I thought they'd be nice and like, you know, nice and fluffy and like just kind of feel good when you step on them. But no, the, the crappy thing is, when you put these like here, you put these like this, you get them all on the ground. You just go like, you know, just like that and stuff. The door, it, it doesn't, it, the door doesn't, doesn't close. It doesn't close. Man, I did not even, I did not even think of that. The, the, the adulting things you got to think about when getting a simple bathroom. So it doesn't fit. So I'm going to return that. Hopefully get the money back since I already took them out of the little thing. I get the receipt in here, but I took them off this thing. So I'm pretty sure it should be okay. But I just got to get like. The little flat ones now, and maybe like a cushion one over there for when you got the shower. But yeah, it's like this is what this is what happens. This is what we're gonna do sometimes. Adulting, yeah. Right, all done. I'm dressed up, and you're wondering why am I wearing this t-shirt, Don the Dead? Well, it's a cool shirt nonetheless. Awesome, great classic zombie movie, probably the best zombie movie of all time. But today is George A. Romero's birthday. Legend, you know, Godfather of Zombies, horror director, you know, writer, all that great stuff. Um, I met him. Years ago, like like 2004, the weekend of horrors, I got to take some pictures with him. He signed a bunch of my stuff. Uh, really great guy. And I also saw him at this after party thing, which was really cool. He was sitting with me at this table. He was like drinking like whiskey, like like a like a like a whiskey and soda or like a whiskey water or something like that. And Tom Savini was there, just like we were hanging out for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, just just, just talking about stuff. So it was really cool. Um, so you know, gonna you know the, the today is a special day because it gave birth to an amazing. Amazing person, horror icon, legendary director, George A. Romero. So I got to wear the shirt representing, and I'm sure I'll watch at least two George Romero flicks later on today. Like tonight, I'll pop on something for sure. But yeah, dude, I'm going to show you my, what I have right here. I have the stuff I get signed from him. I met him at the Weekend of Horrors. It was like I had this golden ticket thing. So it covered all the autographs. All the autographs I got are, were part of the pack. It was like 120 bucks, all, as many autographs as you want. So he signed Night Living Dead from Elite. I think it's the Elite Home Video. From back in the day, Dan stays scared. That the uh, I think the official release at the time of this, the Millennium Edition, before that was all like public domain. And then the next to that, another the amazing movie, Stay Scared, George Romero, Dawn of the Dead. I also have Tom Savini sign it too. So yeah, classic. Did all the you know, did the makeup effects for that classic movie. And of course, to round out the trilogy, Day of the Dead. And what's funny about this is like a little crease you can see right there. It's like a little crease right there, a little white mark. That's where George Romero, he like, when he saw this, he, um, this is his first time seeing this edition of it. So he got it and he bent it. So it's like a little bend right there. And that was from George Romero. So it was the first time seeing this edition of it when it came out. I think it was like 04. And so 
and they signed this. It was glossy, but it's still the, the pen on there. The Sharpie stayed on it pretty good. I always love this edition of Day of the Dead. Classic, amazing meeting him, legendary. Cool, cool guy, great guy. Also a bunch of great movies too, like Martin. He did Creep Show, bunch of cool stuff. I think Monkey Shine, so all amazing stuff. So I definitely watch at least one of these ones and maybe some other one, maybe like Creep Show later on too. All right, got my bag of Marshalls. Time to go over here. I went to Dubai this at yesterday and returned this. And hopefully I can get a, the money back. I'm pretty sure I, sh I should be able to. And uh, yeah, return that and try to find some other bath rugs. Like who would have thought it'd be that, like, it's like that hard to find some bath rugs. I didn't know the door would, would uh, not make it work. But anyway, we'll do that right now. You guys are so exciting at this point. But yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. All right, mission successful. I returned the rug that did not fit in my bathroom because the door kept on hitting it. So I got my money back. So with that money, that's now back to my account. I'm gonna go to the store now. Bring you guys along with me to look for the, at this fun expedition as we find a bathroom rug shower curtain set or whatever for my pad and then other things too. That's what we're doing first because shoot, it's the adulting thing to do. I gotta do that. I gotta do it. I will try to hopefully find something cool. We'll see something, some sort of okay design. Hopefully it's not too lame. We'll, we'll find out. It's something that's like, all right. So right now, and then some other stuff too. All right, so right now at Walmart in the section I need to get like a bath rug at or something. Maybe we get maybe maybe something like this. Kind of gray, you know? It's like a little whatever pattern. Maybe, maybe something like that. I don't know. Maybe something along those lines might work okay. I'm gonna look around and see what I can see, see what I can get up, see what I can get. And uh, shoot, go from there. All right, mission successful. I found a uh, bath rug shower curtain set. I'll show you guys later. I'll put, I'll put it together later on too. I, got a, I picked up a new uh, shower rod also. So now off to somewhere else, but yeah, at least they had something. And uh, so that's good, that, it, that is good. It was something doable. Next spot we're going to, I'm a little bit hungry right now. So I'm gonna go to this spot I went to, my buddy Pierre took me to after we did the um, Malt Looker Challenge part two. He took me here, I've never been here before. He took me to it. So, so good, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna, it's, it's, oh my God, it's so good. Right here in the National Avenue on the corner of 38th Street. We're over here at this place called the Sawaya Brothers Junior Market, which is that right there. And this place is so good. They have all kinds of good stuff. Like you see on the menu, well, like that's one of the things. You get a combo of ribs and that eleven ninety nine for a combo. I'm not going to get that right now. It's like I'll get that if I was with my mom or someone else. It's a lot of food. But they barbecue all the meat up here. They get tamales. Look at the smoke coming from there. Look at the smoke. It's like, look at that. It smells so good up here. Like it literally smells like amazing. Like, you can look up there, it's like, it's totally smoking up. I'm gonna go he order in here in the market. And it's just a cool market. They have all kinds of like, different kinds of like meat stuff you can get here. All kinds of delicious fresh tortillas, some sopes, all this stuff up here, chips. Super good, it smells amazing, like it smells really good. I love stuff like this, like a little hole in the wall. Amazing place, all the meat, like they're all fresh, all kinds of good like Mexican food stuff, like really good fire, like, Hot sauce, oh man. Old school like Mexican style seven up or something like that, huh? And then up here you have like the menu. It's like above the uh, cash register. You have the menu of uh, all kinds of things to get, which is right up there. And you just tell what you want and order it and you bring the, uh, the receipt to the cook over there and you get your food, all kinds of stuff. You get cool like Mexican chips up here too. Like different kinds of Mexican chips you don't normally get in the States, which is what I like. Like these are really good. These are, these are bomb right here. I might get one of those too. Those are actually really good. I'm trying to figure out what to eat. Um, let's see. Now I'm just waiting for the food. I gave him my, uh, my my ticket and just waiting for it. It's, oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> With the, uh, the barbecue right up there. You can see it uh, smoking in the distance. Right up there. It's like, oh my God, it smells so good. And then if I, I definitely have to try out their like, tamales sometime. Oh my God, they have elote here too. And so it's like, I was, I was love, it's like a cool old school spot. Thanks to my man, Pierre, for uh, you know, bringing me here. We, I said we were here like last week. We came here after drinking all that all that stuff. And then after, I got the, the roll tacos and they were amazing. So I got roll tacos again, six piece roll tacos. And also three uh, regular tacos, which are a dollar a pop. I got two carne asada. I went auto bought it, so I'll show you guys what that looks like when I get home. Success, I have the food. Now time to go home and eat this. And oh my God, it smells so good. This place, oh my God, so good. But next time I'm, I'm gonna definitely try one of these combos out. 
12 bucks for all that. That is a dang good deal. So now time to go home, eat this up, drink some of this up. Yes. All right, back home now. I took my jacket off. I have the food on the table right over here. The crack open the seven up and then let's dig into this and see how it looks with the tacos and the rolled tacos. I'll show you guys. Man, it's so good. I can't wait to show you guys what this is. Oh my God, if you're in San Diego, definitely check that place out. It's so bomb, but let's go crack these open. Old school style, old school. Hope with a twist off and up, uh, it's a deal I got anyway. Anything like Mexican style drinks to come in the glass like this, old school style sodas always taste a lot better. Mmm, so good. Here we go. Got some hot sauce. This stuff is really hot too. And let's pop open the rolled tacos first for you guys. Oh yeah, dude. Yes. Oh man. Dude, yes, I'm talking about. Everything's all like homemade. They the guacamole, you get the sour cream, you get the lettuce, the cheese. The yeah. tacos. I have not had the tacos here yet. I've not had the tacos. I've not had them. Okay. We got these little tacos up here. Little small ones. Only a dollar a only a dollar a pop but not bad good deal get two carne asada and one autobata so we could get that and that i had these last week and they're like so good so good oh my it's just breaking apart look at that look at the goodness oh yeah mmm mmm my god mm, get the chicken no yeah. right in there i'm gonna put some hot sauce on there the hot sauce, man, it's 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 unique. It's so good. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's try a taco. Let's do a taco. You gotta put the lime. You gotta do it right. You gotta put some lime up on there. A little bit of lime on that carne asada. A little bit like that. I'm just gonna try it just like this. Just like easy. Just like boom. No hot sauce. I'm just gonna try the meat. and see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, really good. Mmm. Really good barbecued meat. You can taste like that. Or off the grill. So good. Um, Autobata, which is uh, pork. Let's try this one out. Get some guacamole in there, some cilantro, onion. Let's try this one out. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Autobata is really good, too. All good. So, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this up. <laughs> oh yeah, a good time. And then I eat this up, back to more of us, you know, hanging out, day in the life. All right, a little time has went by. I might have had my stomach settled in after eating the food. So now I'm gonna do the, the fun task of putting up the new shower curtain and doing that kind of fun thing. Yeah, so we'll do that now. One I decided to get was this one. Nothing insane, but it's supposed to look like this. I figured, you know, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna place these bath rugs and this shower curtain, which is, which is fine. But I see why I had this thing up here since I moved in. I see it's something different. It's something different. I got a new shower rod as well. But so I'm gonna do that. And it comes with already the uh, rings too. So should be okay. I think it'll be kind of cool. Let's do it. All right, let's go take down this shower rod, shall we? We're doing it, yeah! Now next up, the fun part. We're gonna put these rings on the curtain and from that, attach that to the bar and hang it up. Which now shower curtain's off. Whoa, it's naked. Let's go like this. Boom, and then slip them on. Just like that, kind of like a fishing lure, like a fishing lure. And there you go. All right, so now I'll get these hung up on the shower rod. Shower rod, I gotta put it in the bathroom now. Should be fun. The new Cinestalker shower curtain bathroom type setup. Look at that, oh, we got the rugs up here, uh-huh. Not too bad, the curtain is up. Oh yeah, it's on there pretty good. Let it fall off, boop boop, and we're good. We're good. We are set. Oh yeah, we are good. I got the little thing down there too matches that, sort of in a way. But yeah, we are good. Oh yeah. I think it looks a little bit better. That one was good, but I think it's a different change. 
you know? Plus I got a lot of like, you know, black in my bathroom with the, with the uh, towels and stuff. So kind of goes with that. A little bit of uh, the beige on the, this little like lighter tan color kind of goes with the floor too. So I figured, you know what? And I got like a bronze rod, like a dark bronze rod. I think it kind of goes with this also. So what do you think? I think it looks pretty solid. The skull actually complements that pretty nicely. And so does the towel. Yes. All right, so now since the shower curtain is up and I did it like that, oh, Mr. Like, home around the house kind of guy, whatever that means, let's go have a nice beer and watch some Dawn of the Dead. Right, so we got some of this Mind Circus. So I bought like a week ago. So when I, when I get that uh, hop show too, if, I, if I'm gonna crack this open from that awesome brewery, Russian River Brewing Company, um, classic brewery, good stuff. They have like the, probably the, the known for like the best IPA. You know, Pl Pliny the Younger is like a one they do once a year and Pliny the Elder. So yeah, I'm gonna crack this up. This is the hazy one. I didn't even know they did hazy IPAs. So this should be cool. Let's just try crack this open and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I can only hope. It's It's gotta be, right? It's Russian River. So let's go do it up right now. All right, let's go see, let's go see. Let's see how it is. Smells good. Looks good. Okay. We got some Madonna Dead in the background. Yes, we do on DVD. Yes, I do. Do it up like that and have a little sip of this. Man, that's pretty damn good. That is pretty, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Hazy from Russian River. I like it smooth. Nice smell to it. Kind of like a nice, like some of those, uh, that kind of like fruit note type smells, but man, yeah, it's pretty good. Smooth. Nice, smooth, hazy, good quality stuff. Look at what I have up here. My VHS, old school, cool looking VHS of HBO Can Video, Dawn of the Dead. Love that cover art. It kind of matches my hazy with the yellow a little bit. It kind of, it kind of has, you know, I don't know, sort of in a way. Movie playing right now. Oh yes, oh yes, got the beer going. Classic shot, I love that, so good. But yeah, you cannot go wrong with some Dawn of the Dead. Amazing movie, classic. It's like my favorite ones of, of the Dead trilogy. Definitely, of course, Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. Man, like they're almost like, sometimes I go back and forth with Day of the Dead I like more, and I go back with Dawn of the Dead I like more. They're both amazing. Oh man, I always love Dawn of the Dead because like you're at the mall, it just has that nice, creepy kind of cozy vibe to it just something about it so man, then day of the dead's just like really dismal and messed up but it's great because it's that so they're all of course got night of the dead the classic too but yeah they're all can't go wrong man the man george mero dude heck yeah all right finish up dawn of the dead so that's done right now so right now i got the beer gone so i'm gonna go take a nice shower and you know do it up like that it's been a nice pretty nice you no know, long day it's almost 11 o'clock at night right now so a nice so you get a nice full day with me, Sinistalker, hanging out, kind of chilling, a little, little day in a life, or, you know, chilling with me video, and also with some George Mero kind of stuff mixed in there, because today was his birthday, so that, that was that was cool, that happened to be like that, so that was pretty rad, so if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of it, and let me know what your favorite George A. Romero movie is to, to commemorate his birthday, let me know which one you like of his is the best, it's hard to choose, there's so many great ones, so let me know, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Try to get to 15,000 and more. Let's do it. Oh, yes, let's do it. And go from there. I'll catch you guys, I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.